Today, we're going to talk about the luxurious lives that billionaires are living in the Latin American paradise of Colombia, their private mansions, private islands, and exclusive mouthwatering restaurants. This is the life of the truly rich in the most gorgeous place on earth. Enjoy! Alejandro Santo Domingo Alejandro Santo Domingo is a businessman and investor, son of businessman Julio Mario Santo Domingo. His father set up the Santo Domingo Group, investing in beer, media, and the national airline. The group earns around $100 billion per year. Not bad. Alejandro inherited this rather lucrative Colombian business in 2011. His personal net worth is $2.5 million. He really enjoys his money and his life and loves. He has had romances with celebrities like Spanish model Eugenia Silva. Eugenia has been the cover girl on Harper's Bazaar, Telva, Elle, Marie Claire, Glamour and Vogue, and been the image of Armani, Lau, Oscar de la Renta, Pantene, Dolce & Gabbana, Carrera & Carrera, Escada, Garnier, Intimissimi, Magnum, Max Factor, Tiffany & Co, and Chopard. Eugenia is bright too. Coming from a family of Spanish jurists, she herself graduated in law from the prestigious Colegio Universitario Cardinal Cisneros in Madrid. Brains and beauty, what a combination. Alejandro really is a lucky guy. Alejandro then married English socialite Charlotte Wellesley, aristocratic descendant of the Duke of Wellington and great-great-great-great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria herself. Yes, Alejandro has snagged himself a member of the British royal family. In an article entitled One Million Dollar Dresses, Bespoke Nightclubs and 12 Foot Cakes, How the Super Rich Say I Do, the London Evening Standard tells us that Lady Charlotte wore an elegant off-the-shoulder cream gown to their dream wedding in the south of Spain, completed with a cathedral-length lace veil embroidered with polka dots. There were plenty of royal guests and celebrities in attendance too. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, Juan Carlos I, former King of Spain, James Blunt, and Eva Herzegova. What a lineup! The Santo Domingo Group has invested in the peninsula of Baru between the Bay of Cartagena and the Caribbean Sea. It has colorful sands, crystalline water, and tropical fish. There are mangrove swamps, water mirrors, and underwater gardens. The group has built 100 residences, hotels, and even a golf course there. The Colombian rich really do enjoy themselves, and why not? Where the rich live. The most expensive residential districts in Colombia are clustered around the big cities. Bogota, Cali, Barranquilla, Medellin, Aribag. Bogota, the capital of Colombia, has beautiful barrios such as San Jose de Bavaria, El Chico, Capinero, El Nogal, and Rosales. San Jose de Bavaria has high-rise apartments. El Chico is one of the most expensive areas in the continent. El Nogal has the headquarters of the biggest businesses in Colombia. Rosales is set in the majestic, towering, forested mountains. Here you can find important Colombian politicians, business dynasties, and celebrities. In Cali, salsa capital of the world, the district of choice is El Peñón, center of culture, rumba, restaurants, and bars. Ciudad Jardín, in the south of the capital of the Valle de Cauca, has the biggest mansions and most beautiful gardens. Barranquilla has the Barrio of El Prado, between Carreras of 50 and 60 and Calas of 53 and 75. Its spacious mansions and gardens are impressive. Ibag in Tolima has its Reserva de Campestre, countryside reserve, with luxurious villas set in a natural forest. Last but not least is El Poblado Medellin. It has traditional mansions, beautiful gardens, and the most delicious food you can ever imagine. Bandeja Pesa, anyone? Just say yes and treat yourself to beans, white rice, grilled beef, chicharron, crunchy pork skin, sweet plantain, sausage, fried egg, avocado, and arepas. So how about some dessert to follow? Only joking. That would be suicidal on top of all that other food. Talking about Medellin, where did Pablo live? Being one of the richest men that ever lived, Pablo Escobar, legendary Medellin drug trafficker and paramilitary boss, clearly lived the good life. His cartel earned $22 billion a year before his untimely death in 1993. Pablo's iconic residence is Hacienda Napoles, built on 30 square kilometers of land in the department of Antioquia. 
The entrance boasted a replica of the first plane they used to fly cocaine into the United States. Nice touch! In addition to an infinite number of bedrooms, Pablo built 27 artificial lakes, a private gas station, six swimming pools and a private landing strip. Escobar had a strong and justified sense of impending doom. The hippos, zebras, kangaroos, flamingos, camels and giraffes added a magical touch to this eccentric piece of real estate. And the parties were legendary. Here he met drug trafficking colleagues such as Gonzalo Rodriguez Gacha, the brothers Ochoa, and charming Carlos Leda, son of a Nazi refugee, and reputed to have gunned down a member of staff for disrespecting him. Guess he didn't get his cocktail on time. Pablo's other estates included La Manuela, El Peñol, that has a football pitch, a butler's residence, and a swimming pool with a restaurant in the middle. He got La Casa Mania in Mexico as a gift from the Señor de los Chielos, the leader of the Juarez cartel. It's valued at $17 million. The Mexican cartel must have loved old Pablo to bits. Sofia Vergara Speaking of Colombia, how could we possibly forget Sofia Vergara? She has soared to the top of the US entertainment industry based on super popular productions such as Modern Family, Dos Crazy Women on the Run and Chef, The Recipe for Happiness. This gorgeous, ever smiling and rather dumb actress symbolizes Colombia in the United States. The life of a Hollywood star is superficial, flamboyant and flashy. And Sofia is of course the queen of bling. Cars by the ton, hundreds of dollars worth of jewelry, designer clothes and gigantic mansions. She's got it all. In 2014, Sofia paid $10.6 million for a large home in Beverly Hills, California. The 11,000 square foot home has a pool, large gym, spa and movie theatre. In July 2022, Sofia and husband and actor Joe Manginello put this home up for sale for $19.6 million. In June 2020, she and Joe plunked down $26 million for an incredible mansion in the gated community of Beverly Park, high up in the mountains of Los Angeles. Baseball legend Barry Bonds owned the house from 2002 to 2014 before he sold it for $22 million to a Russian billionaire. In 2020, Forbes magazine announced that Sofia had become the highest paid actress in the world. Her net worth is $180 million. She earns half a million dollars per episode of Modern Family. She is immensely popular, earning $10 million per year as a judge on America's Got Talent. Much like the Kardashians, Sophia runs a retail empire too. She has a line of jeans that is sold at Walmart, and perfumes too. Restaurants Colombia is a natural paradise of mountains, forests, sea, islands, valleys, plains, so it's no wonder its food is delicious beyond belief. The menu in Leo restaurant in Bogota has been inspired by the gastronomic traditions of the river mouths, sea, jungles, deserts and mountains. La Sala de Leo serves the tastiest Colombian food. La Sala de Laura serves the most delicious Colombian wine and cocktails. The Harry Sasson restaurant mixes Colombian, European and Latino tastes. Its stir fries, grilled meats and empanadas are unforgettable. El Chato serves up pork belly with parsnip puree, beans in tamarind sauce, quinoa marshmallows, sunflower ice cream and apple crumble. Okay, we give in. Let's just order every single thing on that menu. Then there's the Andres Carne de Res Grill in Chia. This colorful family restaurant has 30 different cuts of meat, ceviche, arepa and empanadas to die for. Moving onwards and outwards to Cartagena, there's Chilele. This peaceful, comfortable restaurant has 10 signature Caribbean dishes and its own local homebrewed beer and exotic fruity cocktails that you never ever dreamt of before. Make it to Medellin and you've got Carmen. Try the blue crab or the prawns in the guanabana sauce, the octopus in garlic flavored polenta and pistachios, or the gnocchi in blue cheese. Fresh buffalo cream tart to finish? You will die and go to heaven. Being pampered. There is one thing that the rich can't resist, special treatment. Bao Thai Spa in the exclusive neighborhood of El Nogal in Bogota has masseuses trained and qualified at the Wat Po School in Bangkok. In this establishment, there is a wide range of services originating in traditional oriental culture, such as hot stones, aromatic oils, and medicinal plants. This spa offers reflexology, traditional massage, massage for athletes, and massage for pregnant women. 
Rich Colombians have servants too. They have maids, gardeners, private drivers and bodyguards. Maids cook, clean and live in the house. The gardener is in charge of maintaining the pool and the plants. If you've got the money, you get first-class service here in Colombia like anywhere else.